All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. Both of the new Anabar flavors are now live on FinalBossPerformance.com. We got white chocolate cinnamon toast crunch, which if you like the cereal, you're gonna love the bar, and milk chocolate peanut butter and jelly. Same thing applies. If you like peanut butter and you like jelly, and you like making some gains, then make sure you check these out. They're live right now. These always go quick, so FinalBossPerformance.com, code RJF10. Save you 10% on the best tasting protein bar on the market. One of the biggest reasons why most people fail at dieting is because overall the process is isn't really the most convenient. People get hungry and instead of making something or eating something that they brought with them, instead the fast food happens, the gas station snacks happen, the gut spilling over the jeans happens. But don't you guys worry, because in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to make a week's worth of hibachi chicken fried rice that is lower in calories, higher in protein, and so dang easy to make that all you really need is about 30 minutes and a few simple ingredients. This has easily became one of my favorite meal prep hacks and after this video, I think it's gonna be yours too. And for loads of great recipes, Recipes, great meal prep hacks, ways to follow a diet that are actually enjoyable. That way you stick with it long term. Don't forget my cookbook is available at the first link in the description. Every recipe on this channel broken down an easy to use guide. It'll fit right in your pocket and show you exactly what you got to do to succeed. Link in my description. Check it out. You won't regret it. All right, people, if y'all are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gents, we are gonna start off by grabbing a large commercial grade baking sheet. If you don't have one of these, don't worry. A couple regular size ones will do the exact same thing. So the first thing I'll do is hit this entire bad boy with a light coating of nonstick spray. And then once we've got a nice layer on it, I'm gonna move it to the side and grab a pack of chicken breast tenderloins. And then let me show you how easy this is. We're just gonna open up this pack. I'm gonna grab a tenderloin out and look, there's really nothing on it that needs trimmed, which is gonna save us a ton of time over grabbing a full breast. And really it's this easy with a plate on a food scale. I'm just gonna go in and make a bunch of little bite-sized chicken pieces. The size you make them doesn't really matter a whole lot. Just think about when you're eating chicken fried rice, what size do you like and just make that size. So at this point, we got all of our chicken cut up and weighed out. Now what we're gonna do, grab it, throw it on the baking sheet, and then all we wanna do is go in and spread it all out. We got quite a bit of chicken here, and we're gonna be cooking it all at the same time. So you don't want any of it touching. You wanna give it at least a little bit of space. And with these big baking sheets, it makes this so much easier. And by the way, the last video, people were asking about this one in particular. I got it on Amazon for like 18 bucks. I got the exact link in my description box for it, but hold up, the brand, it's Nordic Wear, made in the USA. Plus it's stainless steel, which means you're gonna have it for basically forever. And then now all we're gonna do is toss the chicken in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. That's gonna fully cook every piece. If you wanna temp check it yourself, just make sure the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees. You'll be solid. Boom. So we got about 15 minutes. When I return, we'll do the rest. Check it out guys, in 15 minutes, we now have a pound and a half of cooked bite-sized chicken breast. This is by far the hardest part of the recipe. The rest is stupid simple, and let me show you the rest of the ingredients we're gonna use to make this thing come together. So this first ingredient we are gonna need is gonna save us a boat load of time. We need Ben's Original Ready Rice, but we need the fried rice version that's gonna handle the seasoning. We don't gotta waste a ton of time preparing rice. Overall, it keeps this stupid simple. So we're gonna grab four of these in total. And then next, we're gonna need a 170 70 grams of frozen peas and carrots. And then instead of using large eggs, because they're gonna have some extra fat in them, extra calories, we're gonna opt for the egg beaters. They're gonna look the part, they're gonna taste the part, but they're gonna be pure protein. And then the final two ingredients that we're gonna need is about 60 grams of low sodium soy sauce and about 15 grams of diced green onions. This brings the grand total of ingredients for this recipe up to six, which is honestly next to nothing for a week's worth of delicious food. So moving right along, this next part is easy. For this rice, it just needs a little bit of time in the microwave. Traditionally, one pack is about 90 seconds, but I'm gonna do all four at the same time. Anywhere from three to four minutes should heat it up and it should be good. Just make sure you tear that two inch seam in the top so they vent. Toss these in here. And there we go. In a few minutes, we're gonna have a some. 
All right, and after that little trip in the microwave, all we're gonna do, rip the top off and just pour all your rice right here on the tray. And then after the rice, we'll dump our peas and carrots right on top. And then we'll just take our soy sauce and drizzle it over the rice and veggies. And then now that everything's on here, what we're gonna do is grab a spatula. I'm gonna go in and stir everything together and cover the entire baking sheet. We wanna incorporate this chicken with that rice. You wanna move that soy sauce around. You wanna break up any rice that may be sticking together. And overall, we just wanna give this a solid mix. Now that we got everything mixed up and this thing's feeling heavy, it just needs to go back in the oven, 400 degrees, same temperature as before, for about five to seven minutes. <gasps> Timer is set, and with this little bit of time we have, that's the perfect amount needed to scramble some eggs. Let's go. And y'all know how easy this is. Eggs are literally the first thing they teach you to cook at clown college. A Little bit nonstick, and we're just gonna pour these right in and give them a quick scramble. And then after the rice is done in the oven, all we're gonna do is toss our eggs right in the middle, right along with our green onions. And now all we gotta do is go in here like we did last time, give everything one final stir, mix in those green onions and those eggs. And then guys, once we do that, we literally have ourselves anabolic chicken fried rice for the entire week. And now that we have delicious anabolic chicken fried rice, how do we portion it out and make sure it's good to go for the entire week? The answer to that question is simple. We just grab ourselves some meal prep containers and then all we're gonna do is portion it into each one. Now, if you don't have meal prep containers, you can find them in your local grocery store or you can grab some on Amazon. They're cheap everywhere. The ones I use, I do have linked in the description box. And all I'm gonna do is eyeball these and make them as even looking as possible. But if you really wanted to, you could weigh them all out and get them as close as you possibly could but, but honestly, if you're the only one eating them, then at the end of the week, the calories are all gonna line up anyway, so you don't really gotta worry about it. And there you have it, folks. In right around 30 minutes, we were able to prep out five delicious, high-protein, anabolic, on-the-go meals that are gonna keep you on track with your diet, and it won't even feel like you're trying. Each one of these meals will last up to five days in the fridge, but if you want it to be as fresh as possible, what I recommend, throw a couple of these in the fridge, the rest in the freezer, and then the night before you know you're gonna eat it, take it out of the freezer, put it in the fridge, it'll dethaw overnight, and be perfect for when you're ready to feast. So now that we know how to accomplish it, what exactly nutrition-wise, calorie-wise, protein-wise is in each container? Well, don't worry, because I'm gonna break it down for you. Let's go. Before we break this down, I gotta give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Young LA, which is a clothing company that made the shirt I'm wearing and these crazy pants I'm wearing. To be honest, I've never worn a pair of pants like this in my life because I was intimidated. I didn't like the process. Going into a store seems so crazy, but with Young LA, not only do you get stuff that fits amazing, I mean, look at this shirt. Hugs the shoulders, looks how I want it to up top. It's a little baggier around the stomach. If you've had one too many cheap meals the past week, it's gonna work. They got dress pants, they got tank tops, they got some of the most stylish, highest quality clothing I've ever worn in my life and they have really upgraded my fashion sense. So if you try them, I know you're gonna love them. Just go to youngla.com, use code RJF. You're gonna save some money, support the channel, and I'm telling you, you will not be dissatisfied with your purchase. I'm addicted personally, I'm addicted. And I really think once you buy one thing, you're gonna be in the same boat. The website link, code, everything is down in my description box if you need it. Now, to break it all down in the entire recipe, so not just one container, woo, but the whole thing, what it comes out to is 2,374 calories, 34 grams of fat, 212 grams of protein, 305 grams of carbs with 19 grams of fiber. And if we split it up into five meals, what we have is each meal being 473 calories, seven grams of fat, 42 grams of protein, 61 grams of carbs, four grams of fiber. For me, my diet, my calories, what I'm trying to do, the way these are portioned out is perfect. But keep in mind, we're all different. You could easily make the entire recipe, split it into six meals, each one drops around 100 calories, and boom, it's gonna fit better into your diet. The whole key to being successful is understanding what you're putting in your body, what your goals are, how many calories you're eating in a day, how much protein are you eating in a day. As long as you do that consistently, you can eat any recipe on this channel. It's not even gonna feel like you're dieting. You're gonna see results, and it's gonna make this whole process way more enjoyable. Like I always say, if you have my cookbook in your pocket, it is like dieting on easy. 
easy mode. You're gonna eat the foods you love, you're gonna be making the better versions of them, and honestly, uh, it's just not even gonna feel like you're trying that hard. For everybody that has my cookbook, it's been updated, so this recipe is now in there. If you don't have it, we just hit 250 pages filled with recipes, millions of ideas, tons of things to try out that are gonna make you better. You follow this diet, you do what it says in here, you figure out your calories, you do all that, you eat the recipes, it's gonna make you better. I guarantee it. All right, folks, I appreciate you guys. As always, if you enjoyed this video, you wanna see more meal prep videos like this, let me know in the comment section. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And of our launch is live now, finalbossperformance.com. Code RGF10 will save you 10%. Go get them before they're gone. And yeah, I'm out of here, people. Check out the apparel sponsor. I'm telling you, it could change your life. Literally, my whole closet is just this stuff now. And I'm gonna keep bugging you about it. I'm gonna keep showing you these outfits until you give it a shot. So with that, we're out of here. Thank you guys as always for the support. Till next time, people. Later.